Hello and welcome back. So we have a nice login page here. What we want to do now is add a sign up page just like this one. So we're just going to go here and this is going to be much, much easier. You see that uh, with frameworks, the more you add content, the easier it becomes to add more content because there's a structure involved to the whole thing. So this login page here, we're just going to copy everything here and go to the views, right click, new file, paste, save this. Just click on the login view, but then change it to sign up. Okay, and save. So every instance of login should be changed to sign up. So in fact, it's just going to be add user. It's not sign up, it's add user. So the reason is this, when we are, uh, when this system is done, users will not be added by signing up. They'll be added by a lecturer or the reception people. So somebody at the reception will have to enter the required details of those users, okay? So we will put this as add user instead. So we'll leave the logo there, everything is okay. And the only thing we need to do now is create, go to the login controller. So here this one still says uh, home controller. So let's change that to match our content. I will copy everything here, save, right click, create a new controller. And this one is, we're just going to call it sign up anyway. So we'll say sign up and sign up here as well. Small letter there. Case is important, especially when you're going to be dealing with Linux, which is the common thing with hosting companies. So sign up dot PHP, save that. Pretty good. So if I now navigate to sign up, I just say sign up. Boom. We are on add user. Okay. So here we need to add an email. We need to add a password. We need to give them a password, but then we need a few other things like uh, username. So let me close these two here so that we have more to work with. So email here, I will duplicate this one time like that. Now, instead of putting a break tag, because maybe the break tag is too, is a little bit too big, we can use margins instead. So refresh here. Let me remove this annoying auto uh, focus for now because it keeps bringing me suggestions. So if I refresh this, I can instead add a, uh, a margin to the class. So what I will do is just say M uh, Y one, like so. Let's see that. Okay. So maybe that's cool. Let's try to see how far that goes. Okay, I think that's much better. So email, password, but then let's say here, password, do repeat password. So this one is going to be named password two. This one is retype password. So retype password. Type is not password, it will be text because we need to see the password itself okay so text text great after that we need a first name and last name so let's change the email to first name and this one will be last name so this is trying to match what we have in the table. So you see here, this is the information, first name, last name, and we need to know the gender as well and the rank of the user that we are signing up, right? So uh, let's put a, uh, wait a minute here, email, email. So this one will be first name. I like to capitalize those and last name as well. Okay, pretty good. Email and then what else do we have? 
Mm, so after the email here, before the passwords, we're going to put a select. So sorry about that. Select. As usual, we'll put a class. Let's put my2 there as well, and then form control. And let's put this down here. Let's add a few options. So let's add option, which we're going to do boom, boom, and say select a gender. Boom, boom. And we'll duplicate this a couple of times and change this male and then female. Okay, so male, female, and we need one more of these, which will determine the rank of the user. So select a rank. And so for the ranks here, we're going to have super admin. But it's better to always start with the lowest. Uh, so let's say student is the lowest privileged person here. Reception. And then let's duplicate a few more. So then we have, um, what else do we have? Lecturer. And then we have the uh, admin. And then we have the super admin, like that. Okay, pretty cool. Let's see how that interprets to our page. Okay, so very nice. First name, last name, email, select a gender, and then select a rank. Very cool. And um, now with ranks, I like to use small letters so that it's easier to remember. So here I'm just going to put values. So just put value over here, like so, value. And I will make sure that value here is empty so that this doesn't work. And then we have these guys. So student, uh, student, reception. Let me just copy these guys here to avoid wasting time. Let's paste that here. Admin, paste, uh, super admin, paste. And then I can change these to small letters like so. Admin, it's easier to remember these. Now, instead of super admin maybe we just put super here i don't like uh, spaces in the okay maybe we can put underscore like that super admin admin lecture etc or if you want you can just say super like so okay but let's just leave it like that super underscore admin that's okay all right, so if I now refresh, uh, this is what I get. So very nice. We can add some content there, select something, select something there. Very, very cool. Okay, so we will avoid JavaScript in this thing, except for when we are doing searches, then we're going to use JavaScript. I want to focus on the PHP side of things. So everything here uh, will be done, or the validation will be done in PHP purely. Okay, so this is our sign up page or add user here. Or maybe create user, I don't know. But we will need a second button here. So this button will be cancel, okay? Because we need to have the option to cancel. And this one will be a warning, like so. And then I want to float it to the other side. So float. Now, since they don't use write anymore, it's float end like this. But maybe I should float the other one here. So let's refresh and there we go. So we have the console, we have add user. But I don't like the, um, the color of the text. So I just change to text white like so. Okay, great, refresh. So it's not working when I change the text. Oh, I changed it on the wrong thing. So I should change it on this one. Back here, refresh. Okay, so we have text white. Still doesn't look as good as I want. So let me change this to danger. Maybe that will be better. Okay, I think that's better. 
So we have uh, add user and console here, which is very, very nice. Alrighty then. So if, like I said, there are any uh, colors that you don't understand or any classes that you don't understand, I always have Bootstrap uh, open here so I can just go through it and get what I need to get, especially because I'm very new to Bootstrap. I just learned this like three days ago. Okay, so I will see you in the next video where we continue and create a nav bar. See you then.